Hello everyone and welcome back to the Coquette side of YouTube. Today I am going to be doing my what I got for Christmas video. It was so unbelievably highly requested. Every single time I went onto TikTok or onto Instagram people were asking for it in the comments so here you go. I wasn't planning on doing this. I wasn't planning on doing a birthday haul uh, earlier this year but I did that. I got a lot of beautiful stuff from my family and friends and I'm very very thankful for it all so I hope you enjoy. The first two things are two bags from a beautiful brand I want to talk to you about called Eco Suzy. Eco Suzy are an animal friendly and eco friendly company that specialise in making bags, preferably satchels and I cannot wait to show you the two that they have very kindly gifted me for the winter season. You guys are just gonna love this because I know you all love bows and Oh, perfect is she? Which is this beautiful dusty pink colour and it comes with the beautiful clip-on bow. This bow is detachable so if you didn't want to use the bow you don't have to. This is their Summer Garden Romance Bow Briefcase in the size small. I actually own the large one of this and I use it so so much. Isn't she just beautiful? She is so so gorgeous. I haven't even taken the packaging off the handle because I I just don't even want to, oh, I just don't want to use her, she's too perfect. If that wasn't enough, they also sent me the Victoria Vintage Vegan Messenger Bag, which is so, so beautiful. The colours are so unique. It's this beautiful pink colour and then a black, full vintage style. I'm so obsessed with both of these bags. I'm going to be using them non-stop. They are so, so classy, so, so timeless. They're just stunning. Both of these beautiful bags can be purchased on the Eco Susie website. They are all vegan, they're all cruelty free and eco-friendly. I am so, so obsessed. I'm definitely going to be using these, both of these, a lot next year. Thank you so much to the darlings at Eco Susie for sending me those and I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Moving on to what my family got me for Christmas, I am so excited to share all of these with you. There's some things I think you're all really gonna love. I'll try and say where everything is from but if I don't know or can't remember I am so so sorry. Starting off we have the Lizzie Grant mini bag from Favourite Child Collective. I wanted this for the longest time. Let me tell you the story. Honestly, one of the most unique and beautiful bags I think I've ever, ever owned. Got Lana in her Lizzie era on both sides and then the AKA album cover on the front. I had seen this bag. As soon as I saw it earlier this year, I knew I had to get it. I actually expected this to be sold out for Christmas time. Thankfully it wasn't and my mum was able to get her hands on it. I already am imagining all of the outfits that I'm going to wear with this. It is truly stunning. I think it's so, so unique so so beautiful. I'm going to do clothes first because I think that's easier and I can get them out of the way then. Starting off strong I got this beautiful cardigan from one of my favourite websites at the moment, Zyder. I honestly only saw this on their website literally about a week before Christmas and I let my mum know that I wanted it and she ordered it for me. It is truly stunning. My favourite part of it though are the buttons that also have little bows on. I don't know if you can see that. It is so so unique. Such beautiful quality. Here's the back. Can't really see that but it's stunning and I can't wait to go shopping in it. <laughs> After that is this beautiful H&M cardigan that my mum got me. I once again saw this the week before Christmas. I had one left in my size. It's so beautiful. I love the fact that it's got pockets and it's lined and this lovely like white like trim. I just think it looks lovely and the buttons are gold. It's very classy, very old money. I love it. From H&M also, you can't really see her actually, there we go. My mum got me this beautiful coat that we had had our eye on for so long. The premise behind this coat is that it goes so so well with the Demonia Camel 311s that I got for my birthday. This coat, I mean I would show you but then nothing's gonna fit in frame, just goes so well. It's the same kind of suede like material and the colour is exact. So if you own the Demonia Camel 311s and you don't know what to style them with, get this coat because it's in the sale now as well and it's from H&M it's just stunning it's beautiful it's very warm I mean even if you didn't own the demonias it's still a beautiful coat but that was the premise behind it I'm gonna kill with so many outfits in this I already know the shoes and this just matched so well now this next item was such a surprise when I received it I actually received it the week before Christmas as an early Christmas present and I cried because I did not think my mum would be able to find this because it's been out of stock for over a year but my mum found me and if you're on TikTok you'll probably know about this coat can't even fit her in frame the cream faux fur detail long line coat from River Island if you're on coquette TikTok especially coquette into TikTok which is kind of niche I know you will probably be aware of this coat how sought after and wanted it is I have had my eye on this for so long I was so gutted when it got sold out last year that I wasn't able to get it for so long on reseller websites couldn't find one in my size and then my mother came through and found one in brand new condition 
stunning. I know I've only got a few months left to wear her, but it's gonna make next year so much more magical because now I have a beautiful winter coat. I was over the moon with this. I could not believe that, oh, she's so beautiful. I don't wanna get makeup on her. Ah. What my mum did this year was package up some PR that I had sent to me literally a few days before Christmas. Um, one of the packages actually came in on Christmas Eve. She just wrapped it up quickly so I could have it that morning. So I'm not gonna show you all that came in this bundle, but I got a beautiful bundle from the brand You've Me. It was part of their winter collaboration and I am so, so lucky to have received this because I had seen this on the website for so, so long. It is a beautiful deer cape coat thing. You look on the back. She has little deer antlers on. I'm gonna include everything that the brand sent me, but I did just wanna include this because it is so perfect for winter. It's just, it's so playful and cute and the little deer like bow pockets are just, it's adorable. I love the little tail on the back. If you know me IRL, you know I love pajamas. These ones are from Bath and Body Works, which I didn't even know we could get in the UK, but you can. Pink pajamas with purple iridescent hearts on, very, very girly and cute, and they're so, so soft as well. And then I'm not exactly sure what shop these are from, but they're from FNF Clothing. My mum got me these pink gingham ones. They're super soft, they're super snug, and they're not too thick. So, you know, like in wintertime, sometimes you wear thick pajamas and they get like, these are perfect. I love pajamas. <laughs> On the theme of pajamas, these cute little fawn slippers, they're adorable, they're so so soft and beautiful. And they are iridescent, they have hearts as noses, so cute. Also got the dress that I'm wearing today from Side. you cannot see it, I'll stand up. It's super cute, it has this little like gingham pattern skirt that's attached to the dress with like a belt. I'm gonna set a picture of it here, it's easier. And from H&M I also got these new boots! So obsessed with these, look how like, oh they're just, they're just stunning. I don't even know what to describe them, how to describe them. They're just killer stomper boots. They're beautiful. Okay, now if you know me IRL, then you will know that I love Friends. Friends is my most favourite TV show of all time. All 10 seasons. I want to live in Friends. I'm piss easy to buy for. <gasps> Sorry, but I am. I obviously got a bunch of Friends things that I'm very excited to share with you all. Okay, first of all, ah! of baking. I took up baking this year and it's honestly one of my favourite hobbies ever, but I needed a new apron. And my mum saw this and we both pissed ourselves with laughter. It's the Central Park apron and mug set. I really needed a new apron like for so, so long. And so it's so cute. I look like I'm working at Central Park now. The mug is also adorable as well. I got this cute little Friends cosmetic pouch. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna put in here. Probably hair things, self-care things, something like that. But it's so cute and it's got all little references on it. I got two friends notebooks. This one is my favorite because it comes with a pen. It changes like catchphrase. So at the moment it says ugly naked guy, but like if you click it down, it changes catchphrase. It's so, so cute. And I got this one that just says friends. And then when coffee is live on the background. Love them both. If that wasn't enough, I got friends the game. This is so cute. So it's like race to Central Park. You basically have to like ask questions, like trivia questions about the show. And then if you get it right, you go around and super cute. Counters that you move are like the characters and they're cardboard and they are so, so cute. Chandler is adorable in this. I also, oh my God, got friends, the Monopoly game. I actually own about six different Monopolies and now I own seven. Um, This was adorable. I actually did ask for this because I saw this and I can't even remember what shop it was in, but me and my mum were shopping and I saw this out and about. But if you don't know what to get me for Christmas, Get me the Friends Monopoly set. And the counters, once again, are so cute. They literally have Chandler's like sweater vest as one of the pieces that you can like, like, come on, that's adorable. All Friends themed, I love it. And then if that wasn't enough, I got a Friends puzzle. I love puzzles. I'm a grandma, like I actually love it. I actually don't have it and this is just the lid of the box. I'm it right now. This is a really hard jigsaw puzzle. If you are like investing in this puzzle, be warned, it's a thousand pieces and it's really difficult. I've been doing it since Boxing Day evening. It's really hard, but I love it. It's great. It's such a beautiful picture of them all, like, my baby. Next thing's really unique and special. Um, my mum got this made for me and yeah, it's just really beautiful. Um, my mum got me a puzzle and it's my favorite picture. You can't see, ew, hang on. I do Lana Del Rey ones as well. It's a jigsaw puzzle of none other than Chandler Bing. Oh my God. <laughs> Matthew Perry, however you want to put it. It's beautiful, it's stunning. It's my favorite photo of him, um, of him laughing. I love any picture of him laughing and being happy. And my mom got me that, and that's so special and unique and beautiful and just such a personalized gift. I thought it was stunning. And it also came with this little picture. It's actually a box, but I just keep it on my dressing table to look at and yeah, I love him a lot. 
I recently took everything down in my room this year, a midlife crisis where I didn't want anything in my room. So I needed new posters, empty ones, and my mum found this one. It's my favourite, possibly my favourite picture of all six of them. It's A3 and I'm going to find the most perfect frame for it. It's just my favourite people in the world. Stunning. I love it. Also got this very cute little Central Perk coffee coaster, which it's adorable. Got two books, Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass by Lana Del Rey. This is her poetry book. I forgot I didn't own this and I actually didn't even ask for it. And then my mom was like, I realized you didn't have it. So I got this one and I got this, I fucked my way up to the top, Lana Del Rey biography. I, I didn't even know this existed, but a few of us have this. So thanks guys for letting me know about this. It's cute. I needed a new makeup bag for so long. I'm ashamed of mine. I'm not even going to show you the state my old one is in. I saw this one on Amazon months ago and I really wanted it. So it's this lovely quilted kind of floral pattern. It's fabric and it's very deep. Like you can get a lot of things in here. Brushes, anything that's like a bigger kind of item that wouldn't fit in like a tiny cosmetic purse you can put in here. Like I said, I had no idea you could get Bath and Body Works here in the UK, but you can. And my mum got me the A Thousand Wishes candle. This was on my wish list. Haha, uh -huh, wish list. Wow, I'm funny. I'm Chandler. I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> why? Why did I just do that? The worst. Okay, this was on my wish list for a very long time. What if their Christmas ones are? Um, but this is great for all year round. It doesn't smell like just specifically a winter or Christmas candle. It's really lovely. Yeah, it's really pretty. Along with it, my mum got me the Winter Wishes gift set. I cannot believe you can get Bath and Body Works in the UK. I thought it was just available in America and that the shipping costs and fees were going to be extortionate. Body cream and the shower gel in, which I'm very excited to use. I thankfully got a bunch of self-care bits, so some new makeup brushes. These are pink, a rose quartz roller. I have wanted one of these for so, so long, um, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the jade one or the rose quartz one, but it seemed to make sense to me. <gasps> she is so beautiful. I don't wanna use her, but that's the point. Stunning. A bunch more self-care things, like some hair bands, a flannel, a new little pink razor, some pink fluffy socks, these cute cat emery boards. Um, and a face mask. I got some new little white tights from Amazon. These are the patterned ones that you can get on Amazon. They do so, so many patterns. So go on over to Amazon and have a look. But these are the white ones. Got 100ml Ari and Cloud Pink. Ari is my favorite Ariana fragrance and always has been. It's the first one that she ever released. Um, and I'm yet to smell this. I think I smelled it like ages ago when it first came out, like in Superdrug, probably like months ago, but I haven't smelt it since, so I've actually kind of forgotten what it smells like. But both of these in the larger sizes, which is a dream come true because Ariana's fragrances are my favorites. Um, she's so pretty. Who's ready for AG7? AG7, January 7th, is it? Is that the conspiracy we're all going for? Because like she posted something on like the 17th and the 27th. Are we going for the 7th? AG7 on the 7th. But it just makes so much sense. Who's ready? I'm ready. Also got thank you next, the body spray, because it's my favorite one. This next and last present is something that I don't actually have with me yet, but I will do very, very soon. I got news that I am getting a kitten in the new year, so extremely, extremely soon. If you have followed me for a while, you know my old cat Mew, as she was most famously known, <laughs> um, sadly passed away. And this is going to be just the best present, the best gift I could ever ask for. Um, so to find out, I found out I was getting on Christmas Eve. I am so, so, so excited. Yet to fully decide on a breed um, of kitten, but I definitely think I know the line of, of kind of the direction I wanna go in. Um, and me and my family have already started looking at kittens. I am so unbelievably excited. Yeah, so as soon as she is with me, I know it will be a female for certain, she's gonna be a house cat. So as soon as she is with me, she'll be featured in a lot of my videos, a lot of my TikToks. I'm very excited to welcome her to the family. Um, yeah, I can't wait, I'm getting a cat in the new year. So excited, I could cry. <laughs> That was everything I got for Christmas. I look very shiny. It's probably because I'm really warm and I've been sitting in front of my ring light for what feels like forever. I did get a lot more clothing items that you're probably wondering, why hasn't she featured them in her video? They were on her TikTok like, haul. Most of the clothes were PR related. I didn't want to put too much PR related things in this haul. I literally just wanted to show what my family and friends got me. But that was everything I received. I'm so, so thankful for all of it. I had the best Christmas. It was beautiful spending it with my family. I hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas. And I loved seeing so many coquette hauls on TikTok of what people got. It's been such a blast scrolling through. Thank you so much for what's been a really tough year, really, really not nice year for me actually, but it's been lovely sharing some of it with you. You know, at least I've got a beautiful platform where I can talk to people on and I read your comments. I do, I know it doesn't look like I do, but I do. And a lot of them 
are very lovely and they mean the world to me. So thank you so much if you have followed on this journey for this year and I cannot wait for next year. I have lots of content planned. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day. <whistles> Happy New Year and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Goodbye.